State police had not granted any interviews today, leaving many questions unanswered tonight. CBS 4's Mike Sullivan spoke with a former FBI agent about the new developments in the Delphi case. Mike joins us in the newsroom now. Mike, what did you learn tonight? Well, social, media, social media information is out in the public. Anyone can get it. There are even programs that will help police sort through years of posts. If the info is on personal messages or deleted accounts, that's where it can get a little tricky. When it comes to what you find on the Internet, if it looks too good to be true, it probably is. For instance, a personal message on social media from a male model, a profile picture with perfect hair, perfect body, perfect lighting. Your makeup's all just right and that kind of thing, that's a sign. A sign they may not be who they say they are. Do they have a lot of posts, no posts? What do they talk about? Doug Coons is a former FBI agent, now CEO of the private investigation firm Veracity IIR. I can pretty much tell when you've got a fake account just by looking. Court documents show Keegan Anthony Klein was investigated 12 days after the Delphi murders of Abby Williams and Libby German. In the summer of 2020, he was arrested on child solicitation and child pornography charges, all by using a fake account. It looked like in this picture of the fake profile, it's a young, good-looking kid, supposedly has a lot of money. Kuhn says these type of romance scams often hit adults, but can also happen with children, he believes. They're probably going to play on their insecurities. Adding that victims need to ask themselves, why is this person talking to me in the first place? Try to, to foster an open relationship where you can have these discussions with your kids, explain to them the dangers. There's believed to be a potential connection between Klein's account, Anthony underscore shots, and the Delphi case but investigators not giving us many details. This is a mystery to me. Uh, certainly there has to be more to the story than, than is being made public, and I'm sure it's for a very good reason. He says typically investigators can gain access to account information through a subpoena or court order to the social media provider, even for deleted accounts. If it's still active and public, then, you know, it's all fair game. The question now remains, what is this missing piece of information and can investigators find the connection? It's always exciting when there, there's something new, no matter how big or small it may be, it, there's still hope. Before he left the FBI, Doug Coons says investigators were getting increased pushback from companies who are trying to protect user privacy. Without a court order, he says investigators often need the victim's account and password just to look at private conversations. In the newsroom, I'm Mike Sullivan, CBS 4 News.